In this video, I want to show you how to name an ether. There are two different methods to name an ether. One of them is IUPAC method, and the other one is common method, or common name and IUPAC method. In the IUPAC method, we, step one is choose the longest alkyl group as the parent alkyne and give it an, an alkane name. In step two, treat the second alkyl group along with the oxygen atom as an alkoxy group alkoxy group attached to the parent alkane. Name it by replacing the YL ending of the corresponding alkyl group's name with oxy. So instead of YL, we call it oxy, O-X-Y, and give it the position. Step three, we put the prefix and suffix together. So it's gonna be al alox alkoxy group plus parent alkane. And in common name, we have two steps. Step one is going to be the name of two alkyl groups. So we have two of them, YL, YL. And in the second step, we just complete it and we put the ether at the end. For example, we have methyl ethyl ether, something like that. So common name is, I think it's easier method, but sometimes we need to name it using IUPAC method. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. I will have more videos regarding examples of naming ethers. Thank you for watching and have a great day.